First thing I want to do though is check it, make sure she's not loaded and she is clear. It kind of looks like this, like I'm showing on the video, but the one he has there in the shop has got the wooden handle and it comes with the extra cylinder, the 22 mag cylinder. So I'm going to talk about this in a second, but I wanted to read a little article from the American Rifleman. In the back page I have, I got this old gun and they, somebody sends in a picture and shows it. Well, this one is particularly the old model, single six, which is the one that I'm talking about that ANC Firearms has. So let me read this little thing, this little article, and um, we'll get to the gun. It's uh, by Rick Hacker. The, and the other reason why I like this particular article, I'll kind of give you a little backstory to the Ruger single six. The adage that timing is everything was never truer than with the Ruger single six, a revolver that took inspiration from the Colt single action army, a six gun in, in, trins, ugh, intrinsically linked with the American West, but which was discontinued by Colt in 1949 as being outdated. By contrast, the then newest gun from the fledging uh, Sturm, Ruger, and company, flush with the success from the semi-automatic 22 pistol, was the 22 single action 7 8 the size of the Colt's Model P, which made its appearance in June 1953. I kind of slaughtered that paragraph. Okay. A classic automobile uh, aficionado. Is that how you say it, Trey? Aficionado. Aficionado. Okay. Bill Ruger christened his revolver after the 1920 Packard single six model 116 sedan. With a price tag of $57.50, $57.50, the single six appeared on the eve of the golden age of television westerns, with tall in the saddle heroes blazing away on the newfangled TV sets that were starting to appear in homes across America. Thus, the success of the single six was immediate, not only for those who wanted a single action as affordable to own as it was to shoot, but for anyone who wanted to emulate their cowboy idols. The single six was initially offered with a five and a half inch barrel, four and five eighths, six and a half inch, and seven and a half inch, and nine and a half inch barrels came later. Using an unbreakable coil mainspring, it was the first Ruger gun to use investment castings. The black anodized one piece cast Alcoa aluminum backstrap and trigger guard was another innovative feature. The single six came with checkered hard rubber stocks bearing the Ruger styles, styled eagle logo walnut stocks were optional until 1961 when they became standard stag and ivory grip stocks were also available but rare most noticeable however is the flat loading gate implemented to reduce manufacturing costs but consumer demands resulted in colt style fully contoured loading gate in 1957 around serial number 70,000. in 1973 ruger discontinued what is now called the old single six and introduced the new model, which featured a transfer bar. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think the one, I think the one that Arch has is the older model and the one I've got is the older model. And you can usually tell because it has the, um, it has the four clicks. Okay. When you have the safety transfer bar in there, it goes down to three clicks. So what you have here is a beautiful, beautiful revolver perfect sized, well made, exceptionally well made, lasts for years, generations if you take care of it. And the reason I got mine, I use mine for surgical shooting. I get rodents, possums, coons, um, whatever it is, snakes, and I've got to do some delicate shooting. This one is for one at a time, precision shooting, surgical shooting. It's got a beautiful feel to it. It's like they said, seven eighths the size of the real one. So you got that cool cowboy look. You got that heft in your hand. You got the nostalgia of the West. And it's just a cool looking handgun. So if you go to Aaron'sGunshop.com, go to the Facebook page, you'll see me there holding it, playing with it a little bit, blah, blah, blah. Call ANC Firearms at 254-983-4417. Give them a call. Say, hey, that Ruger Single Six with the extra cylinder, I want it. Go in there and buy it. I'm telling you, you will not be dissatisfied. When I got mine, I got mine. Somebody had brought in a couple of used ones at ANC. I walked in and I said, whoa, I want that one because it was the older version. And I've loved it ever since. And I'm so glad I got it and you won't regret it. So go to ANC Firearms and hide and hammer. Give them a call at 254-983-4417. That's 254-983-4417. Tell them you heard about it on the radio. Support the people who support the show. It's the circle of life. 